Is SCAD really worth it? Attention current and potential SCAD students. Uncover the shocking truth, hidden fees, and controversial experiences in this eye-opening video. Join us as we expose the untold stories and challenge everything you've heard about the Savannah College of Art and Design. Disclaimer, this is not a hate video, but a true look at SCAD and its management as a whole. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chase Dauphin. I am a freshman here at the Savannah College of Art and Design, and I'm about to wrap up my first year here. I think it's important to give you guys an unbiased and in-depth look at what SCAD actually is, how it operates, and the things that they don't really want you to know so that you can continue to make informed decisions. So, what is the problem with SCAD? Well, there are many, but we'll start with this. The housing problem. Now, originally, I was supposed to do my housing on May 5th. That got moved to the 12th, which isn't a problem. But here is the problem. SCAD has run out of housing. SCAD is money hungry and has overbooked the amount of students, over enrolled the amount of students into their university that they can even hold in reality. Now, myself, as well as many others, have been put on a wait list based on credits about housing. Now, you see, you might be saying, what's the big deal about that? And you're right, it's not that big of a deal, except for the fact that many of these people have already paid their housing deposits, which, not to mention, already had a $250 increase from when I signed up last year. So they increased the housing price, and on top of that, they have run out of housing, even with building a brand new dorm building. Now, I don't know about you guys, but what this tells me is that SCAD is over-enrolling their students because they want more money. Now, I don't blame any business for wanting money. I have no anger or grievances towards SCAD, and you know, honestly, housing is what it is. A lot of people can't just go buy an apartment, can't just go live off campus, and especially when you've already paid an almost $1,000 housing fee, you would think that they would secure your spot in some sort of way. But the people who have already paid you a certain amount of money should have housing in some regards. So I don't know what their solution to that is because it's not my thing to handle. But uh, yeah, the housing is a problem and I don't see it becoming not a problem in the next few years because they keep enrolling more and more students. Going along those lines, something that I just said and that I will touch more on now is SCAD is money hungry. Now, as I said, I understand any business from a business perspective wanting to make money and having to have money to continue operations, but SCAD has abundant financial resources the founder and president, Paul Wallace, gets paid an absurd amount, and yet they are still constantly trying to bring in as much money as possible in any little way they can. You see, you pay a certain amount for tuition, you pay a certain amount for housing, you pay a certain amount for meal plans, which is already higher than what you would pay at other universities, but that's a choice you make if you come here. On top of that, you have to go pay for your art supplies. Now, I'm not one to sit here and complain about things or to say how things should be, but I feel as though if you're paying so much money in excess of $40,000 plus a year, that art supplies might want to be provided to you in some way. Now, they'll say they provide facilities and this, that, and the other, and that is true in most regards, but the fact that when you first come here, you have to drop roughly $100 to $300 per class on art supplies that they should be able to give you or be able to supply in some sort of way just doesn't make much sense to me. On that same note, SCAD has been buying more properties than they're technically allowed to. Now, I can't get into the legality of this, and I'm not going to sit here and say any conspiracy theories, but basically, SCAD has over 80 buildings in Savannah, whether they're in use or not in use. And they're not necessarily supposed to be buying up more property. You know, I understand you grow and you expand, but it comes at the expense of the community that surrounds you. Now, being a SCAD student, I could be considered part of the problem because I am paying funding to go here, which then goes into buying these properties. I completely understand that. The fact is, whether I am a part of the problem or not, whether each student is a part of the problem or not, SCAD continues to displace and put people in this community out of an area to live while also price gouging every single apartment complex in a 10 mile radius. Now, I'm not a native to Savannah, but I have talked to some people here who were born and raised in Savannah and have seen the change that have occurred through SCAD and with SCAD being here. And although not every single change has been a bad thing and it does bring in money and tourism, et cetera, et cetera, the thing is, I've talked to an Uber driver one of the first weeks that I got here who was at a law school here in Savannah. And then SCAD bought out her school and they made her transfer and they made her get a degree from somewhere else. Now, you might be saying, what's the big deal with that? Well, imagine if you were going to your college and you're a senior or you're a junior and you're about to graduate and then next thing you know, Boom, 
you have to switch. Now, we're gonna get into a little bit more of my opinion here, but this is also factual in the same sense. So let's talk about Paula Wallace. Paula Wallace is the beloved founder and president of SCAD, as you all know. She is scamming everyone. You wanna guess how much she makes per year now? Over $2 million a year, and that's just what's reported. Imagine what's not being reported. I know you might be saying, well, what's the problem? It's a university that makes a lot of money. Of course, she's gonna get paid a lot. Here's the issue with it. She is the highest paid president in colleges, all colleges. That's compared to Harvard, that's compared to Brown, that's compared to Ivy League schools, that's compared to basically anywhere else. She is the highest paid president. Now, getting into my final point, talking about capitalizing on people's dreams, let's talk about how SCAD capitalizes and profits off of its students. As I said, this is not a hate video. There's no intended ill will or anything in regards to this video. These are just purely the facts and things that I've seen. The whole thing that SCAD sells itself on is their 99% placement rate. They have 99% placement rate in jobs. They have 99% placement rate in jobs, guys. They do, they do. That's what they tell you all the time. Even when I came from my tour, that is the main selling point that they will tell you they're going to place you in a job they're going to get you a job that's going to get you where you want to be and they have the connections to do that now although they may have the connections to do that it's not entirely true you see if you go online and you look at anything that isn't sanctioned by scad i.e if you go on reddit or any other place that has information directly from alumni or students you'll hear a good mix of stories and there are stories where students do not have that experience you know they come here for four years and then at the end of it they still don't get the job that they were promised. Now, don't get me wrong. Nobody's entitled to anything. Nobody's handed anything. And I understand there's a great amount of work, effort, connections, and a lot of other factors that go into getting placed in a job where you want to be or working with a company that you want to work with. And that's not always going to happen right out of college. That makes sense. But when your college is founded on the premise that you have these connections and you have the ability to get people into these jobs and they still can't after paying you more money than almost any other college they could go to, that's a little bit messed up to me. Now, there are many more things I could touch on, but I don't want to get into the subjects of speculation or anything that would just be opinionated. But I wanted to give you guys these facts. I wanted to give you guys the information that I have and the things that I've gathered over being here for this last couple of months and this last half a year plus. I'm by no means saying don't come to SCAD or saying that SCAD is not a good university as a whole. But what I am saying is there is more than what they tell you. Personally, if you make the decision after watching all of my other videos or watching this video or checking out other tips and tricks or tools, whatever information you need after scouring the internet, if you make the decision to come here, be happy with it. But I don't want you guys to fall into the trap of thinking just because you come here that all of your dreams are automatically realized because that's not realistic, even in any scenario or any college you go to. I just wanted to give you guys the facts, the hard-hitting truths, and the things that people might not be willing to tell you. I feel it's very important that you guys are able to hear this and you're able to get this in your brain and be able to make the right decision for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, go ahead and check out my interview with Chuck Ryan, who's a fashion design student here the other day. Uh, he might give you a little bit better perspective into his SCAD experience at a higher level. And also, you could check out some more tips, tricks, whatever else. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. At the end of the day, do your own research. Make the decision that's best for you. Make the choices that you want to make. And don't let this video or any other video make you decide either to go here or not to go here. Because at the end of the day, that's a choice that only you can make. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.